we will go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so we are going to start on our backs today. So just relaxing on back, taking up space on your mat. We'll go ahead and place a hand on the heart and one on the belly. Focusing in on the breath, on the inhales and the exhales. Allow the breath to move in through the nose, down the throat, the chest, into the belly. And as it reverses from the belly, chest, throat, and out through the nose. Keeping this breath going, knowing that we can always come back to any point in time. Taking any rest or modifications as needed. And we'll bring both of the hands to the heart as we find our intention for tonight's class. Maybe it's something you're specifically working on. Our quote for tonight is, don't use your energy to worry. Use your energy to believe, create, trust, grow, and heal. So releasing our intention in whatever way feels most natural and starting that playlist now. The arms are long behind us, the toes reaching long in front of us. And then our next breath, we bring the knees into the chest, give ourselves a nice big hug, find a little bit of movement side to side. Now settle. Keeping that right knee hugged in, left leg becomes nice and long, allow that heel to fall on down. Start finding those circles with that right knee going one way. And then going the opposite way. Settle in, grabbing the outside part of that right foot, open up into that half of a happy baby. See if you can ease that left hip down towards the earth a little bit more. Breathing into that right hip. Allowing the breath to help release the tension. Gently let go of that foot. Allow that knee to cross on over towards the left side. Left hand gently resting upon that right knee. Right arm is opened on out. Easing that right shoulder down. Breathing into that right side body. Go ahead and come back to center. Hug that left knee in to meet the right. Nice big hug. Exhale, extend that right leg nice and long. Allow that heel to fall down. Start finding those circles now with that left side. Circling the knee one way. And then going the opposite. Grabbing a hold of that outer part of that left foot, easing it down in that half of a happy baby. Right hand gently rests upon that right leg. We let go of any worry, any tension.
Gently release that foot, allow that knee to cross on over towards the right side. Right hand gently resting upon that left knee, easing that left shoulder down. Few more breaths here. See if you let, can let go of worry, let go of tension and welcome and ease. Make your way back to center, hugging that right knee to meet that left. Nice big hug. So maybe you keep the shoulders lifted to bring that knee towards the knees and the nose together. If you wanna keep that head down, you can keep that head down. We're extending that right leg nice and long, hugging that left knee. Now switch, left leg extends, right knee hugs in. And switch, and switch. If the shoulders and head were lifted and you decide it's a little too much, a little too much tension we're holding on to, go ahead and let that head, those shoulders come down towards the mat. We'll be here for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug them both in, extend the legs long, breathe. Maybe it's a 45 degree angle. Keep that belly engaged. See if you can hug that belly in towards the center. Allow that tension to be released in that low back. Don't hold on. For three, for two, one. Bring the knees back into the chest. Start finding that movement along the spine, forward and back, making our way into our tabletop. Allowing the hands to be underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips, the spine is nice and long. Just grounding down here, connecting with that earth, maybe finding a few cat cows, little wiggle side to side, allow it to be organic and natural. Releasing any worry as to what this needs to look like and fully embracing it for what it brings, for what it is. Now we still the body. The hands will push into the mat, nice and strong. Tops of the feet are on the mat. I want you to push the tops of the feet into the mat, lift up the knees. Engage that belly, bring the knees down. We're gonna do that two more times, maybe adding a little bit more that second time. So pushing the hands into the mat, engage the shoulders, tops of the feet, pushing into the mat, lift up the knees. Bring them back down. We're doing that one last time and adding a little bit more if we want. So again, pushing that ground away, engage the shoulders, tops of the feet are pushing into the mat, lift up the knees. We can stay here if we want a little bit more. We bring that right foot in and back, left foot and back, right foot and back, left foot and back, right foot and back, left foot and back. Bring the knees on down, tuck the toes under, Lift the hips up high, downward facing dog. Start paddling out the feet, finding some movement here. Nice, strong breaths. And settle in. The toes will touch. That left foot is grounded down, right leg is reaching up high. Breathe. Right knee is finding that right arm. Lift it up. Knee to nose and lift. Knee to left arm 
and lift. One more time, need a right arm and lift. Need a nose, lift. Need a left arm, lift. Step that foot in between those hands, low runner's lunge. Allow that heart to shine forward. That left hip is dropping on down just a hair. Bring the hips on back. Left hand stays planted down, right arm is reaching up high. Exhaling that right hand on down, framing that foot. Nice and strong with that right leg. We step it on back. High plank. Breathe here. Moving through your flow now, meeting in our downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. Coming back to our intention, back to our breath. Releasing any extra tension out of the neck, maybe shaking the head yes, shaking it no. Find the stillness now in the body. Toes will touch. Right foot stays grounded, left leg is reaching up high. Left knee is finding that left arm. Lift it up. Knee to nose. And up. Knee to right arm. Lift it up. One more set. Knee to left arm. And lift. Knee to nose. And lift. Knee to right arm and lift gently step that foot in between those hands low runners lunge shining that heart forward right hip gently falling just a hair bring the hips on back right hand stays planted down left arm is reaching up high Exhale that left hand on down, framing that foot. Let's step that left foot back to meet the right high plank. This time we're coming all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes. Those arms are reaching forward, creating a Y. Thumbs are facing up like you're giving somebody a thumbs up. Maybe you're giving your own self a thumbs up. The forehead might rest upon the mat, or if not, just have that face facing down towards the mat. Notice the breath, fill the belly, and release. Good. Now we lift the thumbs up towards the sky like we're giving a big thumbs up. Exhale, bring them down. Inhale, lift the thumbs. Exhale, bring them down. We're gonna do four more. Lift and fall. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Good. Hands are coming underneath the shoulders now. We tuck the toes under and push ourselves up. Maybe a low chaturanga. Maybe we can't push into that low chaturanga and that's okay. Then we bring the knees down or maybe push all the way up into that high plank. Just making it to that high plank, taking a breath in and a breath out as those heels are pushing back towards the back of the room, hugging that belly towards the center, that spine is long for three, for two, for one, those hips are reaching up high, downward facing dog. Settle in here. Take a bend in the knees. Step, jump, hop, top of the mat. Come up halfway. Exhale, fold over. Inhale all the way up to standing, reach up high. 
Exhale those hands down to heart center. Take a breath in and a breath out. Reach those arms high. Exhale, sit it on down into our chair. Breathe. Maybe the hands come to heart center rather than staying up. All right, we're gonna start moving. So shift that weight into that left leg. It's nice and strong. Right foot starts becoming light. Let's lift it up. Reach those arms up high. Exhale, back down into our chair. Maybe the arms sweep, sweep back. Inhale, lift up. Pillar. This time we exhale into our warrior three. Again, maybe the arms reach back or come to heart center. Come back into that pillar pose. Reach up high. Exhale down into our chair. Inhale, reach up high, pillar pose. Exhale, sit it down. Inhale, reach it up. Lift up. Exhale, push it back, warrior three. If you want a little bit more, maybe you bend that left knee and lift, bend and lift, bend and lift. Two more, bend and lift. Last time, bend, lift. Right toes are touching on down. Inhale those arms on up, crescent warrior. Nice and strong here. As we exhale, we open up into our warrior two, but we're facing the back of the room. So we have a bend in that right knee, left foot is sealed down, soft gaze over those right fingers. Allow that heart to open. Very good. As we exhale, we windmill those hands on down, framing that right foot. Left toes revolve, step that right foot back, keep it hovering. Now rolling that left foot on over towards the side, opening up side plank. If that left knee needs to come down, allow it to come down. If you wanna keep that right leg floating, keep it floating. Otherwise, see if you can keep it lifted. Breathe. Exhaling that right hand on down. High plank, move through your flow, meeting in our downward facing dog. Coming back to the breath if you lost it. Allow yourself to open up, to open up to feel joy, to feel peace to feel happiness in this down dog and this strong yet steady pose. Very good. We lift that left leg up high now. Bend that knee, stack the hips. If you're ready to flip on over, allow the left toes to touch on down. Opening up that left arm, reach up high. All righty, let's come back around, back into our three-legged dog, we all meet. Left leg, finding that left arm. Lift it up, knee to nose, and lift. Knee to right arm, thread that foot on through. If that left knee needs to stay down, allow it to stay down. Maybe that right arm lifts, or you keep it down. See where you are today. Let go of those expectations and allow yourself to be. Take another breath in and a breath out. Very good. We bring that left knee in towards the center of the mat. 
Open up the knee so it's facing the long side of the mat. Left hand aligns with that knee. Open up into a modified side plank just for a breath. Pushing that left hand into the mat, lift on up, gate pose. Right hand comes down, left arm reaching high. Exhale that left hand on down, right arm reaching high. One more time, tilt it over. And down. Exhale that right hand on down. So both of the hands are facing the long side of the mat, kind of framing that left knee. Tuck the left toes under, push the hands into the mat so you can lift on up and set that left foot on down. Skandasana, right toes facing up. The hands can stay down or maybe they come up to the heart. Take a breath, settle in. All righty, shifting that weight now on over towards that right leg. Seal that right foot on down. Right hand comes down inside of that right foot. Left arm reaching up high, extended a side angle. Nice big inhale and exhale here. Exhaling that left hand on down. Revolve that back foot, shimmy that right foot towards the long side of the mat. And this dragon pose, that right arm is pushing into that right leg. Both of the arms are steady. Push that ground away to engage the shoulders and allow the shoulders to drop. Lift and drop. So we're almost finding these scapular push-ups. This little movement, but you might feel it tomorrow. Lift and drop for four. For three, for two, and one. Settle in. Nice and strong with those hands. Step that right foot on back, high plank, making our way onto our belly. Untuck the toes. Open up the arms long. Allow that left ear to come down onto the mat. Bend that right knee, rolling onto that left outer hip. If it feels better to stack both of the legs on top of each other, just stack the legs. Otherwise, that right knee is reaching up high. Easing the shoulders, letting go. Rolling back onto the belly. Hands are underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under, making your way into your downward facing dog. Take a bend in the knees, step jump hop top of the mat. Come up halfway. Exhale, relax on over. Inhale all the way up to standing, reach up high. Exhale those hands down to heart center. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, sit it down. Those hands can come to heart center if you'd like. We shift that weight to that right leg. Left leg becomes light, lift it up, reach up high. Exhale, coming down into that chair. Maybe the arms sweep back. Inhale, lift up, pillar. Exhale, push back, warrior three. Inhale, come back up into that pillar pose. 
Exhale, sit it down, chair. Inhale, lift up, pillar. Exhale, down, chair. One more time. Inhale it up, pillar. Exhale, warrior three. If you want a little bit more, you finding that bending of that right knee. Drop it, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. Three, two, one. All right, we all bend that right knee. Let the left toes touch down. Inhale those arms on up. Crescent warrior, breathe. Open up, warrior two, facing the back of the room. Left toes are facing back, angle of those right toes in. Bend in that left knee, stop gaze over those left fingers. Flipping that left palm to the sky. Axe out that warrior. Feeling that length on that left side body. Releasing any tension. Find that space. Exhale, side angle with that next breath. Again, if you like that left hand down, allow that left hand to come down. Lifting back up, warrior two. We windmill those hands on down inside of that left foot. Revolve that back foot. Shimmy that left foot on over towards the long side of the mat. Find the strength here. Keep that left arm close to that left leg. Breathe. Start finding those little scapular push-ups. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, one, lift, nice and strong here, breathe. Right hand stays planted down, it's nice and strong, nice and sturdy. Left leg starts becoming nice and light, step it back. Find that side plank. Nice big inhales and exhales. Maybe that left leg stays lifted. Maybe the right knee drops. Noticing the breath here. Beautiful. Bring that left hand on down. Lift the hips up high, left leg rising. Allow that left knee to find that left arm. Lift it up. Knee to nose. Lift. Knee to right arm. Thread that foot on through. Left hand stays planted down. Right arm reaching up high. Maybe that left knee drops. Maybe the right hand stays down. I'm threading that foot back into our downward facing dog. Right leg lifts now. Right knee, right arm. Lift, knee to nose. Lift, knee to left arm. Lift one more time, knee to right arm. Lift it up, knee to nose. We got this. Lift it up, knee to left arm. Thread that foot on through, right hand down, left arm up. Maybe that right knee stays down. Maybe the left hand stays down. Alrighty, we all bring that left hand on down. 
Bring that right knee down, center of the mat. Open it on up. Right hand aligning with that right knee. Open up, modified side plank. Left arm is reaching high, left foot is sealed. Push that right hand into the ground, lift that torso on up. Left hand coming down onto that left leg, right arm is reaching up and over. Next breath, right hand coming down, left arm reaching up high. Lift it on up. And bring it on down. We kindly sweep those hands right in front. So they're framing that right knee. Shift that weight into the hands. Tuck the right toes under. Push that ground away. The lift on up. Settle that right foot on down. Left toes up towards the sky. Skandasana. Hands can stay down or they can stay settled down on the mat. Breathe for me. Lovely. We shift that weight now on over towards that left foot. Start walking those hands towards that left foot. That left hand is going to be inside of that left foot. Right foot is sealed on down. Extended side angle. Nice big inhales and exhales. Noticing the lengthening, the strengthening, and the softening. So there's a lot happening. See if you can breathe into those tight spaces you might still be holding on to. Knowing you are strong and that you are able. All righty, we bring those hands on down. Revolve that back foot, framing that left foot. Low runner's lunge. Step that left foot on back. Maybe you move through a flow. Maybe that means child's pose or a water break. We eventually meet in our downward facing dog. Coming back to the breath, back to your intention. Noticing if we're able to find ease, to find peace as we let the mind settle, as the body tires. If you aren't already in downward facing dog, make your way there. We take a bend in the knees. You can either hop those hands forward into a yogi squat, or if not, step them forward. Bring the hips on down. Taking a few breaths here. We are definitely warmed enough to find crow if that's within your practice and you're still wanting a little extra play time. Otherwise, you stay here. Maybe a twist feels nice, allowing one hand to drop down as the opposite opens, right? Being a little playful and kind. A few more breaths. If you were flying, ground down and settle. Hands are planted down, those hips are reaching up. This wide legged stretch. Left hand is coming towards the center of the mat. Bend that left knee, shift that weight on over towards that left leg. The right arm is reaching up high. We forgot our twist on the other side. We'll get it in. Exhale. 
exhale, bring that right hand on down, bend that right knee, shift that weight on over there, left arm is reaching up high. Exhale, that left hand on down, maybe a little sway side to side. Let's come up halfway, heel toe the feet in. Rise all the way up. Exhale those hands down our heart center. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, swan dive back down. Inhale, come up halfway. Planting the hands, step it on back. We're lowering down onto, onto our belly in a count of four. So four, three, two, one, relax on down. Allow that right ear to come down. The arms are opening out to the side. Bend that left knee, left foot is facing up towards the sky. Rolling onto that right, or excuse me, bring that left hand in close and towards the chest. Roll onto that right outer hip for a bit of a twist. Stretching out that right shoulder, all that work it's been doing. No, you can always keep the legs stacked upon each other if that feels better. Alrighty. Rolling back onto our belly. Those hands are underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes under. Second opportunity to maybe try going into that low chaturanga and then maybe lifting all the way up or you bring those knees down and lift up into that high plank, right? It's progress, it's practice, takes time, but every day we become a little stronger. The hips are reaching up high, downward facing dog. Settle in here, connect with the earth. Maybe you feel a little joy, a little lightness into the body. Left leg will rise. Bend that knee, stack the hips. If you're ready to flip, flip on over. Left arm is reaching up high. All right, let's come back around. Back into our three-legged dog. Step that left foot in between those hands. Low runner's lunge. Up on those fingertips. That spine is long. It's almost like you're running a marathon here. Find that weight in that left leg. Right knee tapping behind. Extend it, keep that leg lifted. Tap it in. Extend, tap in, extend. Now bend that right knee, flex that foot. Find some pulses. Pushing that right foot up towards the sky. So you'll feel that right glute working, maybe even part of that left glute. Feeling that stretch right behind that left leg. Three, two, woo, one. Find that stillness, open up half the moon. Left hand stays down, right arm reaching up high. If you wanna play a little bit more, maybe that left hand lifts from the mat. Maybe you bring both of the hands to heart center. Keep that right foot flexed for me. Wonderful. We bring that right hand on down. Shift the hips. I like to tap my right knee in to help shift. Maybe the left hand comes onto that left hip or all the way up towards the sky. That left hand is up. Bring it maybe down to the hip and that left knee. Right toes are coming on down. Bring that right knee down. Awkward twist. Lift that right hand up. Left arm reaching out to the side or behind. Exhale, 
As we exhale, we'll find a twist even more. That right elbow hooking outside of that left knee. That spine is long, even though we're twisting. So we can stay here, that belly pushing into that inner leg as that spine stays long. Bit of a balance challenge even. Or if you wanna try an arm balance, we're in perfect position for it. Shifting that weight on over towards this left side, creating that shelf for that left hip to settle. That right knee kind of comes in a little bit. Right toe kind of helps find that balance. Maybe you, woo, woo. As you see, a lot of play time. Some days it's there, some days it's not. But those legs are extending out. I had all kinds of funky stuff happen. It's a funky arm balance. So once you're done playing, woo, we got some laughs in there. <laughs> then you come back, or maybe you were in this twist and just laughing your butt off as to what just happened. <laughs> and come back, framing that left foot. Shift that weight into that left leg. Back into that warrior three, but allow the hands to stay grounded down. Bring that right foot in to meet the left. Relax on over the legs. Maybe a little wiggle side to the side. Woo. If it feels nice to grab a hold of opposite elbows, go ahead and grab a hold of opposite elbows. Let's inhale, come up halfway. So if you were holding onto those elbows, let them go. Come up. Exhale, fold on over. Inhale, rising on up, reach up high. Maybe a side bend to the right. To center, side bend to the left. To center. Fold on over those legs once more. Inhale, come up halfway. Relax on over. Step the feet on back, move through your flow, meeting in our downward facing dog. Connecting with the breath. Grounding down, lifting those hips up high. Right leg lifts. Bend that knee, stack the hips. If you want to flip on this side, feel free. If you flipped, go ahead and come back around. We're all in that three-legged dog. Gently step that foot in between those hands. Low runner's lunge. That heart is shining forward. Up on those fingertips. Tap that left knee in. Extend it back. Tap it in. Extend. Tap in. Extend. Bend that left knee, left foot facing up towards the sky. Find those pulses. For four. For three. For two. One. Good. Extend that left leg. Bend that right knee. Left toes are settling. Bring that left knee on down. Untuck the toes. We twist. Right hand reaching back. Left hand reaching forward. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you hook with the prayer hands. You can stay here. Or you fly on this side. Right, those hands are coming on over towards the right side. Find that shelf. And then maybe that left leg comes in a little bit. As you find that extension of the legs. Woo, this side had it. <laughs> Alrighty, settle back in. Back into this twist.
We undo that twist, framing that foot. Tuck the back toes under, lift that back leg, shift that weight into that right leg. Grounded warrior three. Tap that left knee in, open up half moon. Maybe that right hand comes up to the heart and the left hand meets it. Patiently unwinding or winding up, should I say. Left hand down, right hand maybe comes to the hip or all the way up high. Keep that left foot flexed for me. Good. Right hand comes down onto that right hip. Bend that left knee. Allow that left foot to come next to that right foot. Wiggle on over those legs. Go ahead and heel toe the feet open. Find that space. The hips are coming on down. Yogi squat. All right, we bring the bum down. See if you can do it without the hands. Up into our boat. Exhale, opening on up or becoming nice and long. Allow those arms to reach back behind you. Nice big body stretch. Allow the knees to come into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. A little roll side to side. Oh, plant the feet on down. Right ankle crossing above the left. Figure four. Now allow the feet to fall, or that right foot falls to the left side. Keep that, that right knee up towards the sky. Left hand may be coming inside of that right inner leg to gently ease it up towards the sky. Good. Let's bring everything back up to center. Undo the legs. So both of the feet are planted down. Left ankle is crossing above the right. Figure four. And then that foot falls to the right side. Left knee is facing up towards the sky. And allow that right hand to come inside that inner thigh to ease it open. Left hand just kind of relaxing out to the side. All right, we bring everything back to center. Give yourself a big hug. And as you exhale, the feet will meet. The knees are opening out into a butterfly. Find the easy, the easiness of this pose. Maybe you're like, it's not easy. My hips are screaming at me. See if you can guide that breath to the hips to find a little bit of ease. We're gonna let the arms open out to the side. Right arm is hugging on top of the left. And then allow the hands to kind of come behind the shoulder blades. So you're giving yourself a nice big hug while stretching out the shoulders, the arms, all that work it did. Two more breaths. Good, release the arms, allow them to fall out to the side. That left arm is coming on top of the right now. And again, allow the hands to find the shoulder blades behind the back as you squeeze tight. You might notice a bit of tension in the top of the back. See if you can bring the breath there 
to release that tension, to find a little bit of ease. Two more breaths. Good. Release the arms. If you like staying here with the legs, stay there. If you need to find any final movements with the legs or just with the body overall, go ahead and welcome these movements in. Whatever they are, it doesn't even have to have a name. Just get these movements that your body is craving out of the body. And then settle on in. Not using any extra energy. Allowing yourself to settle. To heal. To relax. Slowing down if you are finding any movements. And completely settling in into your final resting pose, into your Shavasana. Allowing joy to come in, to settle the body, to ease the muscles, and soften the breath. We'll be here for a few breaths, for a few moments. Don't use your energy to worry. Use your energy to believe, create, trust, grow, and heal. Beginning to welcome in 
gentle movements into the fingers and the toes. Finding bigger movements with each breath. Eventually allowing yourself to lengthen long. And with the exhale, bring the knees into the chest, hugging everything in. Kindly falling to the right or the left side. Taking a few moments here to come back to that intention that you said in the beginning of class. Whether it was something specific or whether you used your energy to let go of worry and to embrace trust to believe in yourself and know that you have everything you need inside. Kindly making your way up to a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed or soft. Together, we'll take a breath in and a breath out. We bring the hands to heart center as we bow our head in gratitude. Grateful for this day, for this breath, for this beautiful life that we're given. Thank you to each of you for sharing your practice with me. The light, the love, and the spirit in me humbly bows to the light, the love, and spirit in each of you. Namaste.